you're live, it says. So I take it, I'm live. And Cameron's Custom says, first, what an achievement for you, Cameron. You must be so proud. So proud. Congratulations. Can, can you hear me? Or... I'm just going to hang about because it's not quite 6 p.m. yet. Great. Hello, Barber says, yup. So you can hear me. Good. As does Cameron Customs. And Double Speak Easy says, you sound good. I do, right? Thank you very much. Right. How is this? Hello, Andrew Mancha. Sup, bro. Gabriel Roman. Sup. Murillo Ricardo. Let me see. Quantum Fusion says my review of Loki was harsh. Oh dear. Okay, so that angle may work for when the figures eventually come out. And then I can just sit like this. You can all see me fine. Ryan Clark, Scotland in the house. What's up, bro? What's up, indeed? Hello, Craig, says Justin the Zilla. How are you? Hey, Craig. Glad to see your finished Destroyer Doom. Thank you. Double Speak Easy says it was a shitty figure, though. To be quite honest, well, I'm just harsh on the movie figures. Um, because I'm just harsh on them. They're not very interesting toys, but they... Um, you know, a likeness doesn't really mean anything to me. Anyway, there we are. Mr. Mix... I can never say this guy's name. Mix a spit lick. It says, my voice is awesome. It is. Okay, let me see. So it's now 6pm. So thank you to everyone who's come on time. Punctuality is very important in this day and age. But, um, there we are. Uh, I've got my articulated icons here in this box. Isn't it lovely? Um... So I'm going to be unboxing them and having a play around with them live on camera. Um, we'll see what comes of that. I'm quite excited to get them. Um, so for those, I've got a bit of a... For those that don't know about the Articulated Icons, it was a Kickstarter um, run by... Well, it's a collaboration between the guys at thefoosh.com, which is an action figure fan news and forum site. And the sculptors, toy people at Gentle Giant Studios. And um, so the idea behind it, I, I think the idea behind it is that articulated icons will be a, an ongoing line. That's this these guys' dream. And that each series will have a particular theme. The first series, the only series there is at the moment, is called the Feudal Series. And it um, is based around feudal Japan, those sort of classic images of ninjas, samurais, um, karate masters, these kind of things. So, um, that's, that's what it is. Um, the Kickstarter was started in September, the start of September 2015, and it ran for a month. And it had an initial goal of $160,000, which they reached their um, their goal on just about, was it a week before they finished? About five days before it it wound up. Um, And then when it finally wound up, I think around, it must have been the start of October then, um, they had got 214% of what they were looking for. So they got $344,000. So the community really came out strong um, to support this. Um, that was one th- from 1,241 people backed this Kickstarter project to get these ninjas and samurais made. Um, 
initially the estimated delivery for it was May 2016. Um, it's now August 2017, so... Yeah. For me, that doesn't really bother me. Um, but I know a lot of people were quite anxious. Why aren't they coming? Have we been fucked over? These kind of things. Um, so, you know, they're like a year... A year and a, a quarter overdue. But um, here they are. Um, people are asking, where can you get them? Well, at the moment, you could only get them through the Kickstarter. Um, so if you haven't backed it, then you're out of luck. I don't know if they've got more held back that they will then sell. But um, why don't you go over to Kickstarter and look for articulated icons or... You know, look on the com. something, go and find out what their what their plans are. Um but uh, to my knowledge, if you didn't back the Kickstarter at this point, that's it. There will be people inevitably scalping them online, but I think they're doing uh, very high scalpery prices. So I I backed this, um that's why I've got them here, and I backed it at the highest the highest um level possible which was called the devoted legion and that was 585 dollars um that's a lot of money so i put it on my credit card <laughs> and i've paid it off so that's fine um uh, so yeah that was 585 dollars for how many figures are there three six seven eight nine, nine ten 17 17 figures and then a couple of accessory packs um and then uh, they they released because it was so well back they did a couple of exclusives and um it was like a blue ninja they did who looks a bit like the Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden obviously they can't sell him as that they can't sell the white guy as uh, Storm Shadow, and they can't sell the modern ninja as uh, Snake Eyes, but we all know what's happening. Um, um, so there were a couple of add-ons, and they, uh, they, those guys went for about thirty-five, forty-five dollars. So at the end of the day, I paid six hundred and sixty-five dollars to get these guys, which is a huge amount of money to be honest, but. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Um, and then, of course, when you get things to the UK from overseas, you get charged VAT, value added tax, I think. And it's about 20%. So I paid about £130 on top of that to get these guys released from customs. Shouldn't have been that much, but they listed all the figures individually rather than what I actually paid as Kickstarter. So, um... There we have them. That's that's the, the sort of where we're at just now with the articulated icons, figures. Um. So I guess we'll crack them open, and have a look if that's okay with you. Oh, I've got a list here of all the all the figures that I should be receiving. So I'm just going to be um kind of ticking them off to make sure I've got all the right stuff. Brandon Maloney says, value added AKFU tax. It is indeed of what should be in there. You can't see that, it's just a white sheet of paper according to you guys, but it does have writing on it, trust me. The further I get away, I get from the light. So, yeah, yeah. I'll mark that off later. Okay, so here we go. Let me just tilt this down a little. That's okay. 
and try and angle my light a bit better. Okay, so we've got the black ninja, basic ninja. And I should have, I believe, a few of them. There's another guy. I should have three basic black ninjas. Why it gotta be black? What else we got? We've got this guy. He is the Deluxe Ninja White. So I believe the difference between the Basic Ninja and the Deluxe Ninja is the additional parts they come with. I've got the Blue Ninja that I was mentioning, Ryu Hayabusa by any other name. Shinobi, one of many. Don't really have any space to put these guys to be honest. You didn't think this through, Craig. You just didn't think it through. Got Fumetsu, the Undying Ronin. Now all these figures have a little, I say a little, but it's quite a lot of explanation about who they are. But I think um, most people will be wanting these guys to be generic characters. But obviously the guys at the Fush have really put a lot of thought and passion into creating these. We've got the Temple Guardian. He was one of the final stretch goals. He looks like um, a silver samurai, don't you think? Curious. And we've got, oh, here's the Deluxe Ninja Black. Ninja White and Deluxe Ninja Black. Again, if people are looking to buy these, I'm not sure where you can get them now. The Kickstarter's over, but um, you might want to try online or go over to the Kickstarter page and ask a question or help the Fush or something. This is Seijun. He's the Drunken Master. Um, karate Dude. Karate. That's uh, the Scottish martial art. Um, then we've got the basic ninja red. Looks good. Then we've got Surai, the samurai warlord. The red samurai. Then we've got some of these modular rooftop displays. So they they build up together. Got some of those in there. Basic ninja red. Again, um, they can't sell them as these, obviously, but they're obviously ideal to be hand ninjas um, that you can have fight, uh, I guess, your Daredevil or Wolverine. Or perhaps bring your Doctor Octopus back to life. Remember that story? No, probably not. Um, so CC Customs is saying, imagine a pirate's wave of these. That is if they're doing like genetic historical people or knights or cowboys. You have quite a lot of options for waves here. This could be really cool. Indeed, I think that's the idea. Um, pirates, cowboys, I can't really, cavemen, yeah, knights, um, Roman soldiers. Don't know how good that is. I think you, you want that flexibility where you can bring them into any display. So I'm not too sure. Who would be, like army guys even. Um, just like SWAT guys, military. Those would be really good. Again, we've got... Oh, this guy's actually different. This is, again, like the Temple Guardian Silver Samurai guy. This is one of the 
exclusives. You can't really see it too well on package. Maybe when we get it out, you'll see it better. This is a transparent smoky ninja. Um, you can kind of see it there. Then we've got Seijun, Samurai Outlaw. Now this guy has the same name as the Drunken Master guy. Um, so maybe there's a story there between he was a samurai, now he, and then he was outlawed and then he became a Drunken Master. Or perhaps any combination of those events. Who knows? Um, or maybe he's just working part time. Then we've got Solitaire, the modern ninja. He's like um, Snake Eyes, essentially. <laughs> He's got like this um, Call of Duty kind of skull face painted on him. It doesn't, the, mm, the paint on the face there doesn't actually look really very much like the paint on the box there. But hey, I'm not worried. <laughs> Then we've got Shibito, a warrior monk. Looks like Liu Kang or something. Let's go, right? Like that one. Again, we've got a basic ninja. Red. Another wall. Sorry, Roof, rather. Itami, the evil sensei. Um, that's why he wears black, apparently. Um, that's him. Then we've got Shoken, the heroic martial artists. AWPWN asks, I don't know how to say that again. Um, are you much of an army builder, Craig? Not really, to be honest. Um, I do have a lot of AIM soldiers, but not really much of an army builder. Um, not against it, just would rather buy individual unique characters. So then, yep, that's Shokin. And we've got the basic ninja black again. Was he one of the first guys that came out of the box? I think he was. Then last ones, then we've got another roof in there. I think I've got I've got five of them. And finally I've got one of these arms, hands and wrap packs. So apparently this series is built around the idea that you can change all the arms between the figures and do a lot of swapping of heads and that kind of thing. So here's some bare arms, additional hands and arm wraps. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And that's it empty. Empty like my wallet. So, <clears throat> let me move some of these back here. Now, is there any one in particular you guys would like me to open up first? I want to start with the basic ninja and then move up to more fanciful things. Star Wars Fan 13 is the first guy in there with Black Deluxe. Sure. Why not? Okay, let me just get them all situated and then I'll try and find the black box.
Wait, I see. Have I lost them? No, they just there. Right. That would be embarrassing. Right, let me put the walls to the side. Righty, so we're going to be looking at this guy first, the Deluxe Ninja Black. Now, it's quite a long blurb on the back, to be honest. How cool does he look with that Oni mask on? Isn't that awesome? I love that look. There's just something great about a black outfitted ninja, you know, it's just classic. It's just classic. Captain Coolio says, who else is watching on the toilet? Me! Welcome to my bathroom. little plastic tray I'm assuming they all will I'll just show this the one time no one cares about the plastic tray and he's got twist ties to hold them in um, let's just do it properly AWPWSN asked, would it be possible for me to compare this with a Marvel Legends figure? Of course I would. I'd be a fool not to, right? So he only had, did he only have that one twist tie? No, he's also got like a rubber band thing, which I'll just cut through with this knife that seemed far too much action. Oh, and he's got stuff around his feet as well. Blimey. Oops. Right. So this is the basic ninja. Tilt this down a little bit more. This is the basic black ninja. So initial impressions, well he's got that old man head on which I'm not a fan of but um, I wouldn't have chosen to package him with that if he was going on the shelves. But anyway, let's take a look at articulation. Now I have heard some people's have broken so here's hoping, here's hoping it doesn't happen. So his um, head uh, rotates and it's on a a hinge as well so it looks up and down his shoulders have a really good range of motion there and there's a bicep swivel at the top and it's really really nicely sort of sculpted in there Benjamin uh, Belton, if you're still around, when I look at Solitaire, I can try and put it on the, I'll try and find Demolition Man or Scourge in my um, copious amounts of figures I don't really like. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> and then he's got uh, double jointed elbows, which give him a really good range. And then his wrists, they're kind of like the um, uh, SH figure arch wrists and that they don't have the, you know, it's all done with kind of ball thing. And 
and apparently those are interchangeable, but we'll get to that. Um, this scarf thing is a separate piece. He, um, okay, he does have an ab crunch. Again, all the articulation is well worked in, so, you know, you don't really have any of the big articulation joints. And, you know, it's like they're painted after they're assembled kind of thing. So the, it's not like the Marvel Legends Spider-Man where he's got like a blue peg on the red bit of his arm or that. It looks really good. It's also got waist rotation. Now, the, um, people have said the, the hips are quite dangerous for breakage. So I'm being quite gentle with them. But how's that? Mm -hmm. Wide as possible stance, still with both feet flat on the floor. Doesn't get much wider than that, does it? Of course, that's critical for ninja figure. It does feel quite tight moving it forward. I'm kind of scared. Now people say I should heat it. It just, yeah, that peg in the middle just seems too flexible. Yeah, I'm not, not having a good time with these. I'm really, really scared they're going to break. But anyway. I might have to put in some work into those. Like take it apart and s sand that ball joint down or something just to make it a bit easier but the sideways movement is excellent forward movement is terrifying he's got a rotation at the top of his thigh double jointed knee rotation at the top of his boot hinge and as we saw he has an ankle pivot so that's his articulation terrifying terrifying legs Maybe with one of my more basic figures, I will venture further, but for the deluxe guy, I'm not um, too happy testing that. Um, so, what does he come with? He comes with one of the roofs. It has little foot pegs on it. And remember Marvel Legends used to come with these, but you were supposed to nail them to the wall or something? Well, these guys clearly like that because they've done it here little pegs at the side so you can connect them together and he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet to do they fit yes they do If it was me, I would have added a ball joint in there for that scarf thing, so that it could be posed out in different directions, but, you know, I'm the kind of customizer that overthinks things, so they were. Um, he also comes with this Jiffy bag, which is um, Articulated Icons branded. I'm a... I love when like the Figma 
figures give you like a, a jiffy bag that you can put all the stuff in. I love it so much. It comes with all this shit here. Righty, so he comes with a bow. the name of this I'm gonna call it a sword on a stick <laughs> I'm sure I just played Neo I should know the name of this right but that looks pretty good really nicely you know the gold detail there it's really nice comes with this bow staff and looks really good comes with these swords on sheath Naginata, thank you. Oh no, is that the yeah Naginata? That's right. Comes with these uh, scabbards, and these are actually separate, are they? Yep. So they're separate. Look good, and they they fit into this little holder thing. Bless you. And of course the swords. in there and the little holder has a peg on it so looks like he has a peg hole in the center of his back and on the um, the back of his belt as well so peg holes on there I guess um, he comes with a quiver which has removable arrows but they remove as one chunk so you could have them have an empty quiver if you wanted that's great thinking isn't it and you put it back like that he also comes with a single arrow which again you can you can pop in there and hold it along with the others. And I'm just going to pop that on his back. I know it's a weak pose, I don't care. <laughs> it's a weak um, hip articulation, I'm not um, super keen on it. Um, he has this belt harness, which... Uh, it has a hole in the back, so I'm assuming it can go over his chest so that his um, quiver isn't just floating. Right. Come here. Oh, swords are off. Righty. Uh, the buckle, where should the buckle go? Up in the sh on top or underneath? Take a scarf off for the minute. And what has he got? He's got this um Oni mask here. And it's an actual mask, it's not just a interchangeable head. Slips on like that. He also has this hood. Um, which has, um, like you can also have this sort of style where it's down um, around his neck. And then he has two masked heads. One with a very tight mask. That's some um, very kind of storm shadowish, isn't it? Oh, it's oh, 
Oh, first time. Very tight. Um, there we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Sorry, that was a bit of a struggle. Then we have him with his mask and his hood. AWPW NSN, I'm the first person that's put the mask, the hood on properly. Um, I was thinking there, like, because it's a lot of effort to actually get that head on with pulling the hood back. I was thinking maybe I should just stretch it over. But okay, I'm glad I did it right. Then he also comes with this, some um, hang, like a sickle. Um, he comes with a kunai. That's what they're called, right? Not up on my ninja stuff. He's got a sai. And he's got some throwing stars. Shuriken, I guess, if that's what they're called. Can't really see those. So he's got this tiny little one and bigger square one and then this fancy pants star one. And what's he got? So he's got um, he's got two karate chop hands. <laughs> he's got two open palm hands, and he's got two open fists, along with two closed fists. So they weren't kidding when they said he was deluxe, huh? There's a lot there. Let me see. I've not tried this head on him. No, I'm just going to hit it with my heat gun. Just save me some effort. Sort of more loosely wrapped head on. Right, let's try and change his hands, see how I go on with that. Okay, the peg is very short there, which is kind of, um, I'm kind of happy about. Makes it less likely to break, I feel, but, um, Let's give him some weapons, huh? Where did the... Oh yeah, it's in there. I really like the Oni mask, so I'm gonna... Stick with that. I hope it fits over this. It looks a bit, actually, it looks a bit stretched when I put it on the, the ninja head. So I'm going to put it back on. Uh, Sensei old bastard here. Well, it looks kind of stretched on him as well, so I'll just put it on Ninja Head. Wasting everyone's time, Craig, why not? Right, 
So, uh, swords. That's one huge sword, isn't it? So scared of those hip joints. I don't know what I'm doing. No, his hand fell off. I don't know what I'm doing, posing wise. I'm not really, if you've ever seen any of my displays, I'm not really the martial artist interest kind of guy. I don't know what people stand like when they're supposed to be threatening with weapons. It's not really my area of expertise. Standing threatening with your arms folded? Sure. I don't know what a lunging pose is. <laughs> I've literally no idea how the, the human body looks when it's in motion. There we go. So that's the deluxe black ninja. Put all this stuff back in a little pokey bag. So my initial thoughts are, I'm really, really impressed. I really like, like them. A um, little bit worried about that hip articulation. Um, we'll see how it works on the other figures. I mean, it hasn't broken, but um, it's a little troubling. Um, you know when you just feel that sort of resistance on a figure? And you're scared because you paid far too much. Um, Mr. McSpitlick says it'd be cool th to put a string on the bow um, so he could wear it on his back. You're right. Um, I guess you could do that yourself. It has little um, sort of notchy bits here that you, you could tie a, a bit of fishing wire around or something. The Deluxe Black Ninja. Sorry I've not been keeping up. Oh, he's, oh he almost fell on the floor but he didn't quite. Well done. It's Ninja Grace for you. Righty. And they also come with this sort of... I mean it's just a card to come in. So I'm not going to get super excited about that but... Uh, there we go. It's there. Okay, so that was the Deluxe Ninja Black. Let me, um, why don't you guys decide who I should open next and I'll see if I can catch up on your comments for just a moment. Captain Kulu says the sickle should have a bendy wire chain. That'll be easy enough to add. Rectangular asks, how many have you opened so far? It's just one. Rectangular says, when you open the non-deluxe figures, compare the 
hardness of the plastic of the hands with those on the deluxe figure. Okay, I'll do. Uh, AWPWN says, do you think they'll do a 60 second showcase for some of these figures? I doubt it, to be honest. Um, and the Silver Samurai is our next figure. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, he's the Temple Guardian. The Temple Guardian. So we've already seen one of the ninjas. I assume many of them are very similar. So let's take a look at the Samurais. So this is the Temple Guardian, the Silver Samurai. So articulation wise, head is the same, it's on a hinge and it rotates. Shoulders, it looks like the same basic body underneath there for the ninja, but with the additions of the armour. Um, that arm is backwards. It looks like it's just the the armor has been added over the top of the basic ninja body. Um, let's see. Okay. Yep. So the let me see the. Ch it looks like this the chest and the skirt are they one single piece. Yeah, it looks like that armour is one single piece. Like his legs still rotate underneath it. But um there's not gonna you're not gonna get any articulation out of the chest. Oh. Oh it's just the sand just popped off. It didn't snap off. Blimey. Again, the lower legs, it's just the armour on top. Can I compare the Silver Samurai to the Secret Santa custom I got? Um, sure. Let me take a look at this guy first before I go doing comparisons. Um, okay, so he seems to be the basic ninja. Articulation seems to be restricted because of the armour. This doesn't... Um, move it. I mean it's 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 like it's a soft plastic but it's still kind of hard so it does inhibit his articulation a little he's not going to be doing the the Van Damme splits like the other guy um, but let's take a look at his accessories So his head is just this one with a simple top knot there. And he's got the samurai helmet. So hold on, I only noticed this, the top knot actually comes out because I only noticed that because there's a tiny little peg 
in the back of the helmet. You guys can't, maybe can't see that. There's a peg in there anyway, which will help the helmet stay on, I'm guessing. He said as he couldn't get the fucking helmet to stay on. And then there's a separate little sort of um, crown fits on the front. And he's also got the mask. So let's. Oh, that falls off quite easily. I don't know what the best way to assemble all this is. Whether I should put the helmet on and then put the crown piece on and then put the mask on. I'm going to assemble it all separately and try and fit it over. That looks pretty awesome. You know, the depth you get with the separate mask, you see the eyes through it and then the red um, mouth covering showing through the, the mouth of the demon mask. That's pretty awesome. Again, he comes with the two swords and he's got the, the little thing that the ninja had already on his uh, belt. Obi. Is the seat? I want to check if it's... Oh, I can't. I put them in the box. Stupid. So this is the longer of the two swords. hands keep popping off for me. Hmm. Try to see whether he can hold his sword with both hands. These hands are flying off for the, the merest hint of movement. I wouldn't... Is he able to... Crowny bit fell off. I would just glue that fucker in there. There we go. Joint is so springy, terrified of it. There we go. So let me take a look at some car comparisons. Um, Marvel Legends figure. Let's take Spider Man and Wolverine. Silver Samurai custom I received. I don't feel, feel very nice about comparing someone's custom to a mass figure. But okay, here's um Spider Man. Let me stand in and jump. But well, I just can't because his his leg is just so terrifying. It's 
Spider-Man is a little bit big as far as Marvel Legends go. But, um, they do seem to be more like a human size rather than a superhero size. There's Wolverine. Put Wolverine over this side. Silver Samurai I received. So you see the Silver Samurai custom obviously looks more like the Silver Samurai with that, you know, the Imperial Sun sort of design on him. Obviously he's much taller as the Silver Samurai should be. Um, but yeah, there we go. Righty. Sorry, let me catch up on what people have been saying. Oh, shit. Figure could use a dry brush. The silver samurai. You could probably do with a wash more than a dry brush. The highlights are bright enough. It's the depths you want to. Um, Pennington54, hi Carl, says, I kind of hope they carry on making these, but that VAT you had to pay was ridiculous. And that's what put me off this first set quite. The price is, as a, as a UK importer, we have to, we take a lot of hits as far as, people listing ridiculous prices on their shipping labels and we get hit we have to pay an additional 20% of whatever is listed um star wars fan says what do you think about the marvel legends vintage wave and riders craig it's not really what i'm here for just now um perhaps another time we'll go into you know unrelated stuff we're here for these guys righty so that's the um deluxe Ninja Black and the Temple Guardian. Got a lot to get through, so let's speed this up. Who's next? We've got the the White Ninja, Seijun, the Drunken Master, and him in his Samurai outfit. We've got the Blue Ninja. Ninjas are all going to be pretty much the same, I think. Um, we've got uh, Fumetsu. He's um, in his uh, Samurai again. Solitaire, he might be interesting. Um, I've got, I've got, oh, I could do the, the Smoky Ninja or the Karate Guys, they'd be cool. Also, what I might do the, the Bruce Lee looking guy, sure. Star Wars fan thirteen says, "You choose. You paid for them, lol." Try to interact with my audience. Um. So sorry, the Bruce Lee looking guy. Sure. It's this guy, Shibito Warrior Monk. Don't pick him up by the head if he's got all this intricate mask and shit on. And then his hands just... <laughs> at least they both came off. Why down you prick. Now. This is the one where the hair is glued on. What, so what have I to watch out for? Ray, Rafe Goatee says, Be careful of the hair pieces. Apparently they are glued on some of them. The VAT was £130, Todd. Don't you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> oh, 
oh, let me put let me put some of this crap back in the back in the box so I don't lose it. I won't be able to keep track of what generic feudal ninja is, which unless I keep them all in the boxes. Righty, Chibito, what a remark. So you said his hair's glued on. Well, yeah. Did you expect it to come off or something? Anyway, I don't know. Right, so he's got that same red scarf that the, the ninja guy has. And so this is a different body because obviously this guy is clothed and the other guy was the same body. So this is like a bare chested version. Looks pretty cool, right? I actually really like this guy. Who would have thought I liked men with their tops off? Um, no nipples. Curious. Means he isn't a mammal. There we are. <laughs> um, reminds me of Bruce Lee. I think that's the idea. So the lower body, I is it the same? Yeah, the lower body is the same as the ninja. He has a different belt. Um, but everything should be the same. He's still got really good articulation. I feel like this guy's articulation is better than the ninja's. Maybe I was just too cautious with the ninja. I have to give him a better go. Um, oh, his articulation at the shoulders is great. Really good. We have a double jointed elbows, same wrists, arm wrappings, rotates to the waist. How's the overall quality? Sturdy joints, solid plastic feel. Yes, I'm very impressed with the quality. It's not like when you open like a uh, juggernaut wave Iceman, you're like, Jesus. Haribo are branching out. But um, that, it feels very sturdy. Um, not... Yeah, see that forward movement of the leg? It, there's so much resistance there, I'm scared. The the joint, um, the actual, like, peg inside the crotch, like, you can kind of feel it's a bit rubbery or something. Maybe it's too thin. So that's kind of the movement. So I'm just really scared of moving that. But like I said earlier, the, the movement to the side, where you're not testing that peg... It's fantastic. Um, he has these like sort of uh, kung fu shoes on, whereas the ninja has the the tabby, the two toed sock, so he can wear sandals. And that's something I didn't notice on the the samurai actually was he has the sandals on. The Rectangular says the hair was supposed to be removable, but they painted the inside of it and it stuck. Oh well. <laughs> That's weird. Looks like his head would be really small without the hair. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm, de I'm guessing it's the, the same, the same head mold. It's not. So, I'm okay with that. I like it. So, not bothered. Uh, again, he's has he got... Oh, I feel like there's supposed to be some rotation at the top of the, the bottom of the trouser there, but it's kind of resisting. So I don't want to push that. I might have to heat some of these.
yeah, I'll, I'll figure I'll figure the hip joints out. Don't worry. I know. I know how to fix toys, so I'm okay. Yep. I've ex I've explained all about the um who does where this Kickstarter is, who's done it, who worked with who. I explained that right at the top of the stream, so I'll not go through it again because it's quite a a story in the middle. Um, but you can you guys can go back and check out the start later on. Um, so let's see what this guy comes with. So he comes with some of the same accessories that the Deluxe Ninja did. He came with these two scythes. Sickles, rather. Um... And his Naginata, as I was told. He comes with a Sai. He's got two, the ninja only had one. He's, um, he's got, he comes with closed fists and he's got these, uh, that, oh, a broken hands. That kind of thing. And he's got open fists as well. Um, he doesn't have like Sai hands. I wonder if someone, maybe in one of them, does come with Psy hands. But, uh, it's pretty cool. No alternate heads for this guy, but I take it all the heads are interchangeable between all the figures. I really love the arm articulation, I think it's great. So Yeah, that bare chested. I know. I think the the guys at the Fush have done a great great job. I think people will be happy with these. Um, and there's a lot of sort of playability and you know flexibility. I'm not talking about the hip joints; they're not super flexible. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in the setups you can do with these guys. Um. I can't help but see them as fodder in a way. <laughs> Is that terrible? You know, it's like it's a bare chest with the, you know, really basic plange, plain body, plange. That's a lunge pose. Did I finally hit it? What That must have been the one where he was coming forward at the screen, huh? Um, male basic arms you know, fleshy arms they're really well done they're a nice color they've got good paint apps I 
I love this Oni face. I really love it. I don't know why that just appeals to me. Mr. McSpitlick says, I would love someone to do a stop motion video of these to the Bare Naked Ladies song, The Ninjas. Well, I guess. I know. Um, Riff Gotti, I give them an A minus. Good. Rectangular says, You have to very slowly break in those legs by moving the hips out first. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so that's the martial artist guy. Really like him. Um, the heads are very, very tight on there. Does it work with the hair? The hair's already quite huge. It looks like it spreads it too wide, so. Righty, let me put his little additional pieces back in the back in the bag, and we'll move on. Okay, has anyone? Um, so I would like to open for variety's sake I'm gonna open the the white karate guy um these are uh, I'm racially stereotype anyone, but these guys all look kind of white guyish, if you ask me. But that's you know, like I don't get a well, I guess they could be quite anime ish in a way, some of them, but uh, we have the heroic what's it called, the heroic martial artists shoken. So I see what you're maybe saying about the, the hair. Oh, no, it's kind of stuck on. How does it work? Oh, yeah. The paint's kind of stuck on the top of his head where it's supposed to. You can see where it's supposed to be removable. But um, that's quite a wig he's got, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of mullety. You know, and it, it does come across quite um, white guyish because it's very sort of brown highlights sort of thing. Um, so it could be quite anime-ish. They're not um, shy of not making people look Japanese at all. Again, this is the, the um, I want to say naked <laughs> torso under there, but with the closed arms. Um, but the forearms on this one are new because they've got like the half sleeve. The paint's a bit rough there. The skin doesn't quite go up to the white of the sleeve. Um, or the white, no, it's the, what color is it originally? It's white originally, the skin painted over. Um, he's got um, bare feet. So we've had the tabby, we've had the sandals, we've had the kung fu slipper, and now we've got barefoot. So he, this, um, un, unlike the temple guardian's armour, this, um, 
what's that? Ghee is um, much softer plastic, so that's got better movement in it. And he said this is his uh, snatched. It's gone done snatched his wig off. Um, that's not going back on there, is it? It's just while it's leaning back. So you get for getting a cheap weave, show Ken. Uh, so yeah, he seems good. Still, I'm still worried about those hips. Um, It looks like the um yeah just the the ball is just a little bit too big or it has like st studs on it or something to help it grip which are kind of getting in the way of it so i'll try and boil and pop them off later but yeah that's just if i was to just go full on with that that leg would just snap off so um that's troubling but, um, you know, they're not being sold to kids. As collectors, we should maybe know a bit better. We should, you know, having paid so much, we shouldn't have to take the care to, to fix that kind of thing. But at the same time... Again, I don't know any fucking karate poses. The paint is kind of um, pulled in his... Uh, elbow there so he's like got a really dirty elbow maybe he's been um vampire sneezing the whole time in his elbow um there we go what does he come with he's not that impressive a figure but um cool generic edition So this guy comes with items we've seen before. He's got the Psy. He's got the open fists. He's got the karate chop hands. He's got the bow staff. But unique to this guy, we've got these, what are these called, tonfa. So let's see how he goes with these. They work well. I just wish his hips worked. His hair bothers me. <laughs> That's a lot of hair. Um, I maybe don't want to be uh, too critical of it because you know when you're like, oh, that's a strange, strange choice for a hairstyle. I wonder why they went with that. And then it probably, it probably turns out that um, it's one of the guys who made it. His hairstyle is like that. So you know, like, don't want to be too critical. You never know. Um, oh no, his hand came flying, but it didn't snap. Michael Wisman is saying, heat the joints with a hair dryer. I know, Michael. Excuse me. I mean, we could try. I did it with the basic ninja at the start when you weren't here. So, well, we'll try again. So they move better, but I'm still, still 
super cautious. This is my best pose. What the? Look at that. I don't know. You're all naming these characters. I don't know who anyone's talking about. There we go. That's the... Let's see the heroic martial artist. I would read their stories. I might do that when I'm on the toilet one day. Read what they're meant to be. Um, what's... Oh, I mean, the story is just huge. Can you not summarise it? Uh, it's like his whole life story. I was going to read it there, but... Uh, I slipped the... I felt myself slipping into a coma, so I didn't bother. Harsh. Harsh Craig. Righty. Um, because someone's very passionate about the backstories behind these guys. Clearly that person ain't me. Oh, terrible. But I like them as generic martial arty guys. Come on, generic martial arts guy. Okie dokie. You know what? I, I like a bio, you know, that's kind of like the one. Oh, well done, Bruce Lee. Um, the, the bios that are. that tell you a bit about what the, the line is. Um, and then just like one line about the guy like during the Ninja Warriors battle for to secure the fate of the sword of fucking the Emperor heroic martial artist Shoken leads the fight on the front lines or some shit like that and then I'm like okay right okay <laughs> so he's like the he's the leader got it right that's all I need to know um, and then I can make up the rest. So, I mean, Michael, Michael was right there. When you hit the, when you hit the hips, maybe break them in a little, and then come back to them later. They've got you know much better motion. So I'll be doing that to all of them. And uh, let's hope none of them break. I might not do it on the camera, but at least there we've seen it. It works. Works now. And the train. Going past heralded that achievement. Richty, who's Nichty? Um, who did I say I wanted to do solitaire? Because he's a wee bit different. He's the snake eyes guy. Use the knife, Craig. Use the knife. Oh yeah, so Solitaire is the modern ninja. I'm playing Solitaire. He's also a massive fan of the Carpenters, which is why he's um gone for that name. Righty, so this is Solitaire, the modern ninja. He's very modern. Mr. McSpitlick says, you can tell this was a line by collectors for collectors, absolutely. And it's very much appreciated. So Solitaire, um, he has the, it's the basic ninja head sculpt. Um, it's the same head sculpt as this guy, but with the sort of skull painted on. And like I said, when I saw him in the box, the paint job isn't quite up to what was sort of in the prototype photo 
but you know it is just a paint job it's i can easily fix that i don't mind he does have quite cool i don't know if you can see he's got like black eyes with red pupils kind of gambit like he's got um the bear chest um but it's painted black this time so that's cool and down here he's got uniquely sculpted um forearms they've got a little sort of cuff on them a little bit of flash on his arm he's got gloved hands which are actually really cool um he's got a tiny little bit at the bottom of his mask it's not quite the full scarf that they like this guy has it's just there around the bottom just makes it look like it's a mask fitted over his black bodysuit then he's got this um web gear sort of harness and belt which has a holster on it so i'm assuming we're getting a gun with them and pouches then he's got the standard ninja everyone um pants on down to his boot where it's changed into a more modern is it or is it the same as the ninja no it's it's a more modern one compared to the ninja's older sculpt and then he's got again he's got the tabby feet but again these are a different sculpt they've got like a buckle on them whereas the standard ninja does not have that so he really is like a modern version of a ninja um so that's pretty cool so again i'm going to heat these because i'm kind of liking this guy Fingers! Holy fuck, man. Does he so he rotates who was it that was um the the warrior um the martial artist or whatever um i was they they don't rotate i might have to heat and rotate them if i can to his yeah his um his feet also rotate at the top of his trouser and this guy's rotate there as well that's brilliant he's really quite cool uh what is everyone saying? Sorry, I'll try and catch up. Um, Rasta Production says that this guy Solitaire is his favourite from the line so far. He'd definitely buy him. And then, then Mr. McSpitlick says... Um, He's $175 on eBay. Blimey. Well, that's weird. Does he not have a gun? Does he not come with a gun? Oh, I've opened the wrong accessories. See, this is why I put things in the flipping bag. Sorry, everyone. I'm leading you down the garden path now. Um, I've opened the wrong bag of accessories. I just thought it was weird he has a holster, but he didn't then have any gun and all the hands were skin coloured. Open the wrong bag. Righty, here we go. So what does he come with? He comes with the standard sword setup we've seen. Again, where these are removable from the, oh, the little holder thing. So yeah. Uh, that goes on his back. It's actually feels kind of small. Might stick them on his waist then. 
Alrighty. And he comes with pistol, as I thought he would. And that can go in his holster down there. The sword can fall out when I'm showing him off. He also comes with a silencer for the gun. So the gun has a little hole in the end and then the silencer pegs in there. Now he doesn't have a trigger. Does he have a trigger finger? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any alternate hands. Um, so, oh wait, he does this hand have a trigger finger? Yes, it does. Sorry, everyone, making a mistake again. So his left hand has a separate trigger finger. See that fits in the holster and there's also a little slot on the holster for the silencer to go in as well. I'm so glad they thought that through. And yeah, he's got his swords. There's they're not um, the ninja comes with these um uh, silver, gold and black ones, but um I was going to call him their silhouette. What's his name? Solitaire. Solitaire's um, are plain black. Um, he also, these swords are of the same length. The ninja's swords were uh, one big samurai style one and one smaller one. But these are of the same length, both of the smaller ones, I think. So he's pretty cool. He also comes with two sets of glasses. Um, green set. A red set. Pop the red set on her. Huh? Try and get them straight. There we go. So he's pretty awesome, huh? That's him with the Set up to the green set. Take it he's using night vision at this point or something. Or maybe he just likes the colour green. There we go. Looks pretty cool. So he's a really, really nice figure. Um, yeah, you can see, I think of all of them, he'd be the one people would be uh, clamouring for, to be honest. He seems like um, you can't. So I've been asked where you can buy them from. You can't buy them anymore. You can hit up eBay if you want, but they were a Kickstarter thing. Who knows what ha might happen in the future. We'll see what the response to this is. I'm sure they have plans to make these available um, somehow, um, somewhere. Surely some online seller would like to come out with a, an agreement with the Foosh guys to get these. But um, it's only secondary market at the, the moment, I believe. That's him, that's Solitaire. He's Snake Eyes. Um, they could have gone one step further and given him like a silver goggles or that, that, that visor that Snake Eyes has, but um, they'd get sued. <laughs> so that's Solitaire and I'm really happy with him. He's cool. his eyes out actually his gambit eyes so yeah really happy with that guy okay sorry what are people saying
what's with the white mist. It's the it's the light I use. I just you know I'm using my phone. Maybe that's better, huh? Is that better? That's a better light, isn't it? It's kind of bright in my eyes, but hey, who cares? There we go. Righty, so, uh, well, we just did, let's face it, we just did snake eyes, so, I do it with desktop shadow. Now, um, I've always had, um, I've always loved the White Ninja. There's something just uh, unique. You know, it just seems to be contrary to what the ninja is supposed to be about. White Ninja, so I'm just so awesome about it. I love it. Snake Eyes was my favourite. Oh, G.I. Joe guy. Um, not Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow was my favourite. Uh, G.I. Joe character. Um, so this is the Deluxe White Ninja. Again, he comes with this roof base. And now that we've got two of them, we can uh, slot them together. That way, I guess. I think those pegs will probably snap if you try and do anything too much with them. Um, or they can also go that way, I guess. We'd need a thing along the top with a fish on either side. is a female body by them. Be cool if they did a series of Amazons or something. They wouldn't sell, of course, but um, they were. I would like to see what they did with the, the female body. So this guy is going to be the same as the um, Black Deluxe Ninja we saw earlier on. Um, again, he's got these tight, tight legs, which I'm terrified by. Going to heat them again. Burn myself. Oh, you like that? Uh, that white ninja was right into that. Yeah. I'll wait for them to cool a bit to see if they. Oh, for God's sake. Joint plastic. He comes with all the same accessories, I think, as the Black Ninja. So he has the quiver that the arrows pull out of. And a single arrow by itself that also slots in alongside those ones. He has a bow, which doesn't have a string. Um, I guess if you were careful, you could maybe untie these sort of plastic bits from this and then use them. It's kind of silly. Just put a bit of fishing line around that. Um, uh, he sets his quiver and his... I wish that was kind of white though. That would be nice. He's got this scarf thing, so he can be a uh, Joe Masashi. Let's put a better head on him. So again, he's got the loosely wrapped head and the tightly wrapped head. I like the tightly wrapped head. It's fucking cool.
Jeez, they're really tight. light bounces off the white guy quite a lot. He's got um bow staff, his naginata, this um strap thing. He's got three kinds of throwing star. Same as the Deluxe Ninja. He's got again the Oni Mask, which as everyone knows I fucking love. He's got a hood down and he's got a hood up. And he's got the open hands. He's got these fists, open fists. The other one went run about. And he's got these karate chopping hands. And he's got one sigh, one sickle, and one kunai kind of thing. I guess these are actually meant to be joined together. You can maybe get a little bit of chain or something. Join those guys together. A bendy wire. A chain and a bendy wire. Or a piece of string. So yeah, he comes with all the same stuff as the um, Deluxe Black Ninja. It's like one sigh, what? Just because Raphael used two, I mean, they always have to be two. <laughs> there we oh, yeah, and he's got the swords as well one long sword and one shorter sword. The scabbards to hold them. Sword seems very straight for the thing it's in but well there we are that's the white ninja and I want to take a look at the accessory pack because we haven't looked at these yet um now I believe the arms are supposed to come off I'm scared Now I haven't watched anything about these, but there's no instructions on them. Little bit terrified of pulling the arms off. Oh, that one came off so easy. That one came off too, after a while. Righty, let's see if we can get these extra hands open. Yeah, these are the the fleshy arms that um, Bruce Lee had over here. Um, he had the red wraps on them. Again, these seem very on there. I guess they've put them on the figure too soon after they were painted and the paints acted as a kind of glue. But um, I'm sure I could work that off. kind of want this guy to have the red wraps on but we'll go with what we've got so uh, in this pack you've got the two bare arms with relaxed open hands and you also get these sort of claw shaped hands now would they work with the sigh 
kinda. Kinda not really. So they're in there. You get the the open hands. These hands um feel very different from the first ninja I got. The first ninja had very, very hard plastic hands, the black deluxe ninja. But these ones are much softer. And I've heard that these ones are supposed to be better um for changing. Um because the hard ones have the potential to um snap the pegs. So so there we have um he's also got this kind of wrist strap, this plain white one. And he comes with he's got two of those and then he's got two of these sort of black ones as well. I say he it's a, they're all in this accessory pack. Um, Kind of storm shadow, huh? Oops. It's not quite right, is it? No, okay. So these guys look like snake eyes and storm shadow, I guess. Apart from the green, the green glasses, you could paint them silver if you wanted, but I don't mind. And you could put just a plain black ninja face on this guy, I guess. There we go. Quite happy with these guys. They look cool. Love this accessory set with the the arms. I think it's great. I'm going to put all these accessories back in with the, the white ninja. So the white ninja has all my extra arms in it. Sorry, solitaire. mask on him, how fucking cool would that be? Let's do that. Oh, he's like from Super Shinobi or something. I fucking love it. You dick. Well, I could just give him a normal thing. That makes sense. I can see. 
see it, I just can't get to it. Donatello is the best turtle. I agree. Then the competition ain't that hard, is it? The rest are dicks. I feel like the white guy is my favourite, the white ninja, just because of the colour scheme. <laughs> but um, I think he looks really good with the, the Oni mask on and the red thing and the bare arms. I think it's a really cool look. Solitaire's pretty awesome as well, there's no den denying that. Um, so yeah. Okay, dokie, who have we got left? We've got the... We've got three red ninjas. We've got a blue ninja, a smoky ninja. Um, then we've got this drunken master who looks kind of similar to this guy, but he's got boots on. We've got um, Fumetsu who kind of looks like the bad. He looks like this guy, Itami. I mean, they've got the same face. Um, so, Punker Mike is saying the Drunken Master is a solid figure. So let's go for him. That's Sejun, the Drunken Master. And then we'll take a look at Sejun, the Samurai Outlaw, straight after him. They seem to be the same guy. Here we have, um, what do you call him? Thingy. <laughs> I've got his name already. Sejun. Oh, snatched his weave out. <laughs> his hair is not stuck on um, like the other guys. Righty. Now, people are saying make, um, make... Jubei from Ninja Scroll. Now I only saw Ninja Scroll once, so you'll have to, you'll have to guide me in that. Um, what does the Drunken Master come with? Ninja Scroll had the um, what's my lingering memory from it? It was the dude with the who was like a a bee hive, wasn't he? His back was infested with wasps or something. That was awesome. That's the only thing I remember. Bless you. So, Shoken Head on Seijun makes a quick Jumbe. Jubei. Um, okay, I have to remember who's who. So, the. I, forgot, I can't keep track of their names. This dude, brown. Brown guy, um, comes with his bottle of, I don't know what that would be, sake, shochu, ramane. Hello beautiful. You made me a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome. I 
got a cup of tea from my husband. Everyone say hello to Matthew. He's very shy. Um, okay. Uh, what was he? Oh yeah, he's got that bottle. He's got the, what do you call them? Tonfa. And he's got a bow staff. He has open, he comes with closed fists. He's got open fists. And then he's got these, um, what are they, what is he doing there? That. Kind of fists. No, I'm not a martial arts movie kind of guy. I don't know what those are about. Are they f for when he's holding this? What was the name of the drunken sort of fighter in um, Virtua Fighter? That's my only exposure really to this kind of thing. So yeah, also his um, he's got this uh, ponytail braid sort of thing goes down his back, and then that just fits into the hole in his head there. That's pretty cool. Um, so everyone said, well, put. Shoken, Shoken's this dude, right? With the the massive hairstyle. So apparently, if I put that head, so not just the hair, but the whole head, onto this guy, apparently people will shoot their load or something. I'm not too sure why, but anyway, there we go. Wow, the guy with terrible hair on in a brown costume. A parade of fashion choices there. Um, so he has a, so he's got the sort of sandaled feet with um, the ninja trousers, whereas this guy, uh, no head. Um, <laughs> thanks, Punker Mike. Um, he has the bare feet. So he's got um, yeah, sandaled feet with the, his socks pulled up high because he gets a chill sometimes. So what did Juby have? He had, I'm assuming he had um, a sword. Did he just have the one? Did he have two? So... Now, he doesn't have any peg on his belt for the swords to go in at the side. I guess that's maybe something they're kind of... Well, it was something the samurai had. He had, his, he had a hole in the side to peg his swords into. He had one sword with a red scabbard. I don't think I have any red scabbards, do I? Well, maybe the... Does this guy have them? This red samurai? No, they all look to be black. Fine, whatever, we'll make do. Actually, that scabbard split. So the scabbard seems to be made of two separate parts. This was the sword that seemed awfully straight. Like it was trying to hide something, you know? Okay, well there's your um, Jubei guy, I guess.
need to glue that scabbard together at the end. Do these fit in with DC Classics or Marvel Legends? Know what fits in with DC Classics? The garbage. <laughs> I've already compared them to Marvel Legends. They are... Marvel Legends tend to... While they're supposed to be in a 1 12th scale, they're, they're bigger than that. Which makes kind of sense because they're of super heroic stature in a way. But, um... This, um... That katana's really fucking pissing me off. Um, but, uh... So they're shorter. They're more like the size that actual people would be. Um... So they are... Kill him. Um... They are, um... Shorter. Than Marvel Legends. But... Not noticeably. Once you pose them up dramatically, rather than stand them side by side, they'll look the same. Um, Brad is saying, use the blue ninja if you ever played Shinobi. Excuse me, Shinobi was a black ninja and then he was a white ninja. You're thinking of Ninja Gaiden. Um, MCU figures tend to be smaller than comic figures, so they probably work with them. Mm, I guess so. So, yeah. But even, you know, when you get like a short Marvel legend like Wolverine next to them you know he doesn't look that short anymore so they are much more sort of human scale than these superhero scale but at the same time like like we said um they will uh they'll look brilliant once they're posed there we go so that's your Jube I don't know who that fucking is it's the drunken master anyway, this dude. Um, sorry for my anime um, naivety. Everything's getting all mixed up now. Oh, it's all going to end up in one big bag anyway. Okay, so uh, do we have any requests for who's next? I guess someone said the blue ninja. Um, it's going to be much the same as the other ninjas, I guess, but, um, Blue Ninja is kind of like Ryu Hayabusa. Um, most East Asians aren't six foot, usually, says Augustus Tan. True, but these guys don't look East Asian. That's kind of the thing. Their faces are very Western, so, um, even the ninjas. But anyway, so here we have, a. Uh, And he, so he's different from the other ninjas in that he has the bear arms that you saw me put on from the accessory pack. And he's got, um, oh, so he's a deluxe ninja. He comes with like the roof top, which I shall pick up with my feet. Someone asked me earlier, how do I think I'm going to display these? I really have no idea. I don't really have space for them, to be honest. Um, but, so we'll see. So, this is Shinobi. He's called. One of many. Um, don't know why they called him Shinobi. I guess it's a perfectly legitimate name for a ninja, seeing as how it means ninja. It's another pronunciation of ninja. Um, so he's the blue guy, he's the ninja Gaiden guy. He's got a blue um, scarf and bare arms. But like I said, he's a deluxe ninja, so he'll probably come with the same as all the others. Let me just double check that. Oh. 
so looks like the same stuff oh no it's actually quite different here so um so he's got the swords um same as the other deluxe ninjas with the silver blades and the scabbards he's got the bow and he's got the quiver and he's got the arrow which is totally fucking bent out of the package <laughs> oh and i snapped it try to reshape it oh one down huh broken arrow plop um He's got the strap that goes over his chest. He's got the hood. He's got the tightly masked head. He has a blue Oni mask. It's quite cool. He's got the karate chop hands. He's got the open fist. He's got the splayed hands. He's got the three types of ninja star. The kunai, the sai, and the sickle part. He has an arm different arm wrappings so they could be replaced these ones with these ones let me see if I can actually do that yep it's easy enough I'm, I always fear that these removable parts when they come packaged won't be removable because the paint is stuck them on so there's one type of wrap there's the other type and uh, unlike the other ninjas, he comes with an unmasked head. I mean, the other ninjas came with, like, the old man head, didn't they? But this guy comes with the unmasked bald head that has um this uh, anime hairstyle that you can put on it. So what I'm thinking would be cool would be to get this guy's face, this guy's hair, his armbands on there. And then you've kind of got a Strider Hiryu. Oh yeah, and the red scarf from this did as well. But like I say, his hair is on tight there. Let me try and... Let's see if we can make a strider, huh? I could just replace his whole arms to these arms. Rather than try to work those, those fists off. Bruce Lee has used way too much wig glue. snapped off. Oh well. So the peg of that Bruce Lee hair snapped off inside the socket. I'm giving these um, 
swoosh guys a lot of, you know, because it's their first time to make these. I'm giving them a lot of um, leeway that I probably wouldn't give, you know, a company like Hasbro or something if they did these and they, they made that mistake with interchangeable parts. It's kind of like when you watch a Rob Zombie film and you're like, oh, well, that wasn't bad. But, you know, if you didn't know he was primarily a, a musician and not a movie director, you'd say it was fucking terrible. Still, I'm sure they'll learn lessons and hopefully this will go on. That's the thing, you want to encourage them to keep going. Um, who knows, I'm sure they've got plenty of ideas themselves of what to come up with next. I'll take the ninja's arms out. So unfortunately I don't have a cipher of course. I'll just give him a a sword. I guess that's kind of striderish, isn't it? Not perfectly stridery, but you know, it's as good as it gets. So that's the um, Shinobi figure, one of many. that's managed to make into a strider. Juby guy. There we go. So yeah, the interchangeability thing is really, really nice. Gives a lot of basic um, um customization sort of fun going on. So that's pretty pretty cool. Um so I've got the oh wait I did say I was gonna do Sage and the the samurai guy. Let's open another samurai. It's like Marvel Mashers, but good. Well said. I do have a soft spot for Marvel Mashers. They um, didn't try to be anything more than they were, and there was something quite honest about them. Until they started losing all their articulation, that was weird. And then they just disappeared. Let's 
So we've got, I guess I'll call him the brown samurai. I could have read it. Seijun, wasn't it? He's brown and blue. Choices. Um, so I'm imagining he's going to be similar to the temple guardian, the silver samurai. Oh, actually, I could have just used the samurai's face instead of trying to pull the hair off of Bruce Lee. But um, let's give um, Brown Samurai. Oh, he look, he's actually got different different things in here from this, the Temple Guardian. So. with a cup of tea. Hang on a second. So he's got a quiver and uh, an arrow that isn't broken this time. Good stuff. He has uh, his long sword. He has a short sword. And the samurai come with the little loops to hold those scabbards on there. He's got a bow and he has a alternate head which is actually covered in blood. A bit of a story going on there. That's quite neat. He's got this um, bald head with the little top knot that comes out. And that's so that the, the little plug from the helmet can fit in there. This masked head does not have a little plug for the helmet. But I'm sure the helmet would still sit on there. But let's... Why did I pull his hair? Why did I pull his head off? Who knows? Let's put the helmet on there. The peg could perhaps do with being longer. I don't feel like I ever quite get it on there or maybe it's the sides of the the helmet buff up against these but I don't feel like the helmet ever really goes on um, and then he has this full sort of face mask which you can go over there again I don't feel like that clips into the helmet as well as it should. So it's kind of fucking annoying. <laughs> there we go. He also comes with two options for his crest on his helmet. He's got this sort of crescent moon there. Sort of look. Now these are very, very tight. And he's also got this. It's a Gundam sort of V, isn't it? He's got that. And he also has an alternate face mask. Which is this. It's like a skull's teeth. Very Mad Max Fury Road. He comes with, it's almost the same as the Naginata, but it's actually, it's not curved. It's just the straight spear. That's pretty cool. And he comes with this club. Looks pretty brutal. I remember the Storm Guard and Tomb Raider used these clubs, right?
there we are. Oh, hands. I seem to have problems with the hands on the 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 samurai guys. They seem to pop off a lot. I think it's they hit up against the hard plastic of the armor, and they they give out rather than the. There we are. Can't be bothered putting the silver samurai together again. <laughs> Punker Mike says it says sex bat. God yeah. Look at, I'd take that to the hilt. <laughs> Lucille. That's a walking dead thing, isn't it? Get that out of here. I don't want to hear about it. I guess so. It's Lucille has like what is Lucille? It's like a baseball bat. It's weird how I've never watched it, and yeah, I still fucking know what shitty things are. It's a baseball bat with nails and barbed wire, right? There we go. Do these feel delicate or fragile in any way? Um, no, they don't. They're not like like when you get a figure arts or something where you're like holy shit I could I could actually snap this like I feel that anything that does break wouldn't be down to me it would be down to um sort of the plastic rather than anything it's not really the joints it's more the choice of the plastic they've used like in the the hip joints um I'm terrified of those but I'll get them all fixed but as you can see, I'm a fucking huge klutz, and I can imagine that posing these samurais would be a pain in the arse, because they seem to, um, fly apart at the merest touch. Um, some of the, the things that are supposed to tab in don't quite tab in as well as they are supposed to. So there we go. Um, that's the silver samurai and the brun samurai. He's brun! God, I'm going to lose that little hairpiece. I've given up trying to keep things in the right place, oh no, they're just all over the fucking place. i put his helmet and his mask and stuff in there, so I know I'll lose those. Okay, so, um, who do we have next? We've got the basic Black Ninja, who we've already opened the Deluxe Ninja, I imagine it's going to be quite similar. We've got the basic Red Ninja, we've got the Smoke Ninja, the Evil Sensei, the Black Samurai, I guess, and the Red Samurai. Who would you like to see next? Well, I have my tea. Or do you not give a shit? Somebody said ghost. Then somebody said evil sensei. Someone said black red ninja. Okay, I don't know who ghost is, so I'll have to skip that one and I'll go for the evil sensei. Evil sensei, this dude. So this is the evil sensei. Um, does he have a name? I'm throwing him on the floor. Itami. Which is Japanese for hurt. So this is pain sensei. And where did the did what's this guy's heat? Heat, heat, heat. Where's your heat? I fucking lost your heat. I'm gonna put him next to the heroic, what was he called? Heroic 
martial artist or something. Right, so we've got the, the white guy and the black guy, spot the body. So his face is quite cool, quite like him. He's got a very different face from the others. Um, he's got the top knot again that comes out, so so we can put a helmet on him if we need to. Um, and he's bearded. So there's a good sort of range of faces here. But apart from that, he appears to be the same as the heroic guy. So let me see what he comes with. Excuse me, heroic guy. So he comes with, so he's already got two open fists on him. And so he's got the closed fists in the thing. He's got the karate chopping kind of hands. He's got a long sword. Um, which doesn't have any sort of loop on it and neither does his belt so he can't really hold it, it can't go on his back or anything these um, karate guys don't have peg holes on their backs or on their belts so um, I'm guessing you could maybe take the the um, what am I trying to say this, this thing from one of the other ninjas and put it round, you could either put it round his waist I guess or round his shoulder and then get one of the, the holders for the sword to put it in there. He comes with two sai and he comes with a mask. It's not an oni mask, it's tengu. The oni mask, for those that don't know, is the the horned grinning demon. The tengu is the the long nosed Demon of the forest and the wind. So the Tengu mask, um, unlike the Oni mask, wh where you can sort of the Oni mask you can see through to the figure's um, face underneath, the Tengu mask is entirely closed, so you can't see any of the details underneath. Oh, his top knot came off. But I, I love these masks, like I really love them. Um, it'd be good if they had the Hania one, um, the sort of female um, mask to go with them. So he's pretty cool. He's more or less exactly the same as the, the good guy. Tengu mask. But of course the Tengu mask could go on any of the figures really. So yeah, that's the evil pain sensei, Itami. Yep, he's really cool. It's more about the mask for me. It just adds character, you know. Just man with face. I love these identities. Masks. Psych the psychology of masks. It's fascinating. Anyway, so that's that guy. Thank you. So we've n what have we got left? We've got the red samurai, the kind of black samurai, the smoke ninja, the basic red ninja, or the basic black ninja. Good, thank you, Matthew. So, any um suggestions next, Mister Mixit Diplictic says he looks like a mean Commander Riker. Does he? 
Well, I don't know. I guess in a way. He's got the same kind of beard. I love the mask so much. Oh, see, you can handle it. See, in the real world, good doesn't always win. Spoon Dude says, he just came in, so I'd like to see a ninja. Maybe the red one, the red one. People will be thanking you for saying the red one. People have been looking for, please open the hand, ninja. So this is a basic ninja. He doesn't come with as much as the Deluxe guys. The Deluxe guys came with a roof and all sorts of stuff. But let's see what's different about them. Basic bitch like this guy. Basic bitch is not wanted. There we go. So here we have the basic red ninja. Paired with the white ninja. I'm going to try and put all my ninjas together. The black ninja. Blue Ninja. I've been asked, is this the most action figures that I've opened collectively? I don't know, compared to like my childhood, I'm not too sure. I did get all of the Supernaturals one year. Like all of them. That was quite a lot. But this may be the most, the modern Ninja. So that's the... All the ninjas, I think, isn't it? I've not missed anyone. That's all the ninjas. I mean, I know there's basic other, but that's all the colour variations of ninjas. So let's take a look at the red guy. Now, the red guy has sort of greenish eyes. So you can see where they were going with this from the start. Um, he has... Like the other ninjas, he has the two scabbards that are um, removable from this little holder, which can pop on his back. And he has a long sword and a shorter sword. Again, those are removable from there. So they can go on his back or they can go on his belt back there. There's also this strap that comes with it, which I guess if you want to put them on the back of it, that's um, how you do that. It doesn't look like they're just plugged into his spine. Um, and the strap has a little hole on the back of it. I don't think that's right, is it? It's supposed to go the other way. I think the buckle's supposed to go down at his on his side just seems to sit better that way and then you can put the swords th through the thing into his back now he doesn't come with a bow an arrow or a sickle or a sigh or a quiver but he comes with a kunai and he has open fists he comes with closed ones and karate chopping fists um, so let's pop these dudes off. Oh. That's the basic red ninja. Um, alternate head wise, he, well, he comes with the tight sort of hood and the more relaxed sort of hood. And 
he also has um like a a lower down hood that he can wear like that and he has a, a lifted up hood like that A little tricky to put on. Actually, I'll put on the other. I'll heat, heat it up, heat it up. So I'm just heating up the, the heads the first time I put them on just because they, they seem to be quite um, tight to get on there. And then we have him with his hood up. So that's your hand ninja, I guess. So for people who are looking out for that, how does that shape up? I'm not particularly into the hand so not really too fussed about it but um he's a cool red ninja but for those who are specifically looking for a hand ninja how does that work out for you for anyone that's just joined um, I'm being rather cautious with the hips. There have been reports of breakage and mine seem to be very tight to move forward. So I'm not pushing it too hard, but I'll, I'll heat them a bit. See if we can get this one to move. It's a basic one, so if it kind of breaks, I'm not that fast because I've got like two more. So. Obviously, I'd be pissed off if they broke, but here we are. People are saying, I think it's easier to put the hood on the head and then plug it into the neck. That's probably true. Probably true. So, yeah, you can see like heating up the hips really, like before it wasn't moving at all. And now you're getting that full range of mov movement out of it. That's the basic red ninja. Does the alternate head? Yeah, both heads have the green eyes on them, so he's very hand like. basic red ninja which figure is your favorite thus far um i really like the white ninja um with the oni mask and the modular arms you know because they're so modular you can kind of swap the parts between them um So it's hard to, you know, my favourite one is probably a mixture of a few of them, but um, 
Um, I really like the Deluxe White Ninja and um, Solitaire. Is, he's the modern. These two guys are my favourites. Um, I think I'll give him the red glasses actually. Rather than the green one, so it's clearly red. I'll just put the glasses up on top of his head. I really like the modern ninja because he's like got the gun and stuff. I just think it's a cool, cool look. And he's got two short swords. The long sword is kind of, that's probably accurate, but it's kind of fucking stupid looking. I really like the, um, the gun with the silencer. I think these two guys are my favourites. So far. I can't see any of the other guys that are remaining. Pipping them to the post. But let's um I mean we've seen the we've seen already seen a black ninja, so I won't go through a basic black ninja. Um I'll open this guy. He's the smoky ninja. He's our last our final ninja. Now he looked oh, I dropped him. Um, he didn't look that translucent when he was in the box, but now he's out and the light's kind of shining through him. He looks a lot more translucent. With. Comes with the same as the basic ninja, basic red ninja, except they're all cast in smoky translucent plastic, and that extends to the strap for his chest and even to his swords. They're also translucent. And the scabbards as well. So that's neat. So yeah, he's the exact same as this guy, but translucent plastic. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's nothing really new to see then I'll just I'll just move on. I've been at this almost three hours. Oh there's a transparent hand on the floor. I got it. Imagine if they made a Madame Gow figure. She's the only good thing about Netflix, although I didn't watch um only good thing about Netflix, man. That's not true. Jessica Jones is all right. Okay, let's open this kind of black samurai guy, whose name is Fumetsu. Fumetsu. Getting quite good at opening them, man.
works. So he looks the same as the other samurai. Um, and I'm not going to talk about fucking Marvel movies and TV shows here. Uh, so he's like the other samurai. Pretty much he's got like Itami, the evil sensei's face, pretty much. It's a little bit different. Um, he looks kind of older here and uh, he uh, he's also got like, um, I want to say undead eyes, like black eyes with red pupils. So he was... Does it say a bit more what I've got? He is the undying Ronin, so I'm assuming he's some undying Ronin. Sorry, Craig. Which can't be that one. So, like the other samurai, he comes with uh, the long spear, the bow, the long sword, and the short sword. And he already has the thing on his waist for them to plug into. He also comes with this alternate sort of tight masked ninja head, again with the sort of undying black eyes with red pupils. He comes with the sex bat, and he comes with the quiver, and the, the arrows are removable and it's also got an extra arrow in there. And he comes with the helmet, and the same mask as the other guys. But his crests, this is like the crest that was with the silver samurai, isn't it? And he's also got this one, which I think is really, actually really cool. Sort of antlers. I'm going to stick that on. Love that. These um, crests for the samurai helmets don't really... F like, once they fit, they're really, they're really tightly. They fit really tight, but... It's kind of difficult. Now this, this um, unmasked head does have a hole in the back of it for the helmet. The other samurai with the bloodstained mask, his uh, masked head did not have a hole in the back of it. So um, it's weird. He also comes with these teeth for his mask. I'm going to go with the full, the full on mask for him. Serving antler realness. Oh. Jesus Craig. That's Fumetsu, the Undying Ronin. It's pretty cool. I do like the antlers. Is that in the sort of idea that he's a maybe a sort of supernatural samurai? It's quite cool. That's him. Um, we've got last. Oh, last guy. This guy. The red samurai.
glue. So I, re I really like this guy straight off because his armour has that much more detail on it. It doesn't, you know, the sculpt is the same, but because of the contrast between the red and the black and the gold, you can see that detail much nicer. So that's pretty cool. I would maybe make, you know, swap heads around, make this guy the Undying Ronin. He's a bit like Bishamon from the Darkstalkers, you know. So let's see what he comes with. be surprised if they surprised me at this point with what, what accessories they got. I think I've seen about everything there is, but who knows. Fall down there and see if I can. Oh, there is something different. So, old man samurai here comes with the spear, the bow, the swords. Again, he has that loop on his belt there for the swords to fit into. His swords are just silver. He has an arrow and a quiver. And he also comes with the club. The masked head. Now this head, you see his eye is whited out. It's blind in one eye and the scar going over it and the masked head matches that. It's pretty cool. And he comes with the samurai helmet and a gold set of teeth. It's bling. He's got a gold mask. And his helmet has either this big flashy Gundam V or these horns. And the horns are first time seeing them. So I'm going to... Um, Swap out the masked head onto this and set that up. It does have a hole in the back. Cool. And I might just put the teeth on them. Rather than the full face mask. I don't know where they're supposed to plug in. Things are really difficult to get into the hole in the helmet. Take this. <laughs> Still doesn't fucking go in. That's him. So yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. He's the red samurai. He's probably my favourite of the samurai. Um, just because of the colour scheme. I think it's really awesome. Oh, I didn't see that first. His, um, his V has a little skull on it, so maybe that would actually be nicer on there. Let's put all this back in the bag. And I have a 
ton of stuff, don't I? A ton, a ton of stuff. Which, uh, so he was the samurai warlord. Take that, that's why he's all covered in skulls. Which, I guess, it's almost been three hours I've been doing this, so let's just, like I said, I was going to open all the figures, so let's open all the figures. I won't op open duplicates, but... Uh, I'll open the basic black ninja. He's the... Stalwart of the series, I guess. Now the basic black ninja has kind of yellowish eyes on them. It kind of just looks like they're unpainted to be honest. They're very similar to the um, colour scheme of the, the flesh tone they've used. They're not, they're not coming out very well. Um, whereas the deluxe black ninja had actual eyes. And see the deluxe black ninja actually has a more of a bluish highlight to them. Totally run out of space. So again, he comes with the whoop, the tight mast head. Um, now these eyes, the eyes on this head, seem to be more intense than the eyes on this one. Um, so yeah, this head, just this one, looks much better than that one, I feel. Um, so let's put that on there. And he comes with the, the down hood. And he also comes with the up hood. I won't embarrass myself, try to get that thing on again. And the two swords, both silver. Um, and the chest strap. Comes with the closed fists, he's got open fists, one's inside his hood. Get out, you prick. Mm, liking it in there. Yeah. It's got the open fists, cry chop hands, and a kunai. And there we have it. That's the basic black ninja. There we have it. That's me opened all of the figures. Um, the only things I didn't really open was the uh, wall mountable rooftop display base. But um, we already saw what that was like when we um, opened the Deluxe Ninjas. So, um, I've got, so, I've got five of those that I didn't open. So that would be one, two, three, and then four. So, I would have a, an eight wide rooftop. Oh, you bastards. Um, So yeah. So there we are. Um, my thoughts on these guys. Um, um the whole uh, the figures themselves are wonderful. I feel they're um like someone in the chat said, they really are, uh, they really are, um, figures made for action figure collectors by action figure collectors. Um, um, obviously there's some issue with the hips, you know, but we've seen on this stream that if you heat them up, they can move. 
Fortunately, we haven't had any breakage, which I've seen reported. I feel that if you did just dive into these, um, you know, without sort of breaking them in first, you'd break them. Um, but obviously, you know, I've had Marvel Legends just break right out the package for me as well. Um, so these things, sometimes it's not the wholly the fault of the creators, those kind of things, but I feel like these hips, it's a consistent thing throughout the whole of the line that they need heated and probably they need to taken apart and sort of sanded down a bit. Um, like, because uh, I did, I feel that, you know, even though I did heat up these guys and they were moving fine, now that they've had time to cool down, they've gone back to uh, being kind of difficult. Um, Um, the interchangeable parts and all the figures are absolutely wonderful. Great ideas, well thought out. You know, the line has been thought out as a whole. I think that's really great. Um, they've really, you know, we've, people are obviously seeing like, this is Storm Shadow and this is uh, Jubei from Ninja Scroll. This is Snake Eyes. This is Ryu Hayabusa. This is Strider. Um, people are seeing these things in the in the toys, so they found a, a great way to sort of to get those sort of concepts out to us and to you know to um, give us some impetus to actually and make the parts to actually change the parts round. Um, they've given us wonderful hand ninjas, wonderful stock black ninjas. Um, so yeah, I think these are, these are brilliant. Um, the experience as a whole, I found it very positive, being very expensive, I'll not, um, but then I can't, I've not, I haven't calculated like how many, like how many figures am I getting here compared with how many, um, or how much that would be on if it were Marvel Legends, you know, I've not really calculated value for money, but I'm not at all disappointed by what I've got. I feel that what they, um, what they said they were going to deliver, they have delivered. You know, the interchangeability, the the great sculpts, the great paint across the line. The paint is really good, the exception being Solitaire's mask. But that's not an, really an issue uh, to me. Might be for some other people, but um, um, I was super pissed off about the customs fee. I won't lie. Um, the way they um, they um, quoted the the individual prices for all these figures. So that I was charged VAT on what I would have paid if I bought them all separately rather than what I actually paid as an all-in backer. I thought that was... But then maybe they don't know. I mean... Um, next time I'll have to hit them up beforehand and make sure they don't do that. But, um, you know, that's, that's a customs thing. That's uh, not really them miss selling me or anything. Um, lost the Bruce Lee guy's hair. I know it's here somewhere. Yeah, it is. So yeah, what are, um, I'm going to be finishing up this pretty soon. Let me see what you've been saying. How would, um, so have you guys got these figures 
Um, if so, are they worth it to you? Um, what what are your guys' opinions seeing this live stream? What do you think of the the figures? Mr. Mixit-Plick says... Oh, he says, you've certainly put them through their paces. I hope so. Um, double exclamation mark says, love the Strider kit bash, but it takes four figs worth of parts to make. No, it's only two. It's the blue ninja and the red, the martial artist kind of guy. Um, those are the two you need to make that Strider. Um... Rectangler says, I think you need to take your time breaking in those hips and be careful. I wish that I purchased more. Yep, um, don't worry about me breaking figures. I can handle it. Um, I was... I was annoyed um, last week um, that all these reports about the broken parts were coming in and the uh, Kickstarter guys were saying nothing about it. Like, there was no statement. Um... I was like, are you going to acknowledge this is happening or what? But they did then send out a um, statement. They didn't acknowledge that the broken things were happening. They were just saying, if anything's wrong, please send it back to us. Yakety yakety. Um, which is fine. It's a diplomatic way of saying exactly what they need to say. If your stuff breaks, send it back to us. However, having to pay for postage and all that um even if one of these did break i'd be like i'm not i'm not going through the sort of postage thing again unless you guys can like not write the value on this because i'm not i'm not paying for it for another one and then having you know for if i'm going to get a replacement for free then i, I want it to be for free i don't want to pay for the postage and i don't want to pay for the customs again I want to just pay for what I pay for. So if one of these does break, I'll probably contact them and see what they say. But if it's going to involve customs fees and that again, I'm not probably going to do, go down that route. Um, oh, I've pushed old Smokey off the side. Too much stuff. And that's true in general, and then I go and buy fucking five thousand ninjas. Um Jordan Keir says, I thought they looked great. The thing that kept me away from them in the first place was the theme. Perhaps if there was a superhero-ish line or something space themed. That's an interesting idea, sort of a space theme. Um Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, I mean, I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of Japan, um, beyond just ninjas and anime, uh, but uh, this, this line, um, you know, I probably wouldn't pay much attention if this was like in the in a store or something. But I like to support the Fush guys. You know, I do my Secret Santa through the Fush and that kind of thing. I don't have any contact with the Fush guys. You know they. Um, I'm not paid to do this, or they don't. They're not particularly friends with me. I don't have to say nice things about them. But um, 
I just when I saw this, I was like, you know, this this is the approach that action figures should have. Um, you know, the interchangeable part, thinking it, you know, just really thinking it through. You know, it's nice to see collector lines made by collectors for collectors. Um, so yeah, really, really sort of into that. Let's give this guy a blue Oni mask. Even though he didn't come with it. Again, there's the samurai's hands popping off all the time. What a pain in the arse. Um, the samurais, they're the samurais are, for me are probably the weak point for the line. Um, you know the armor's pretty sturdy. Oh, for God's sake. Um, it's not as flexible as it could maybe be, and things do just fall off them quite a lot. But uh, and they probably needed some some way, you know, just if because they designed the basic ninja body and then they put the samurai armor on top of it um it uh it kind of inhibits a lot of the articulation they can't sort of two-hand their weapon very easily um well their sword very easily which is a standard samurai sort of pose um but you know the detail on samurai is great and it really comes through on the, the red guy um the you know the sort of customizability, the customizability of the samurai is great, but the parts don't really fit together all that well. Um, just a bit of a pisser, but they get there in the end. You know, you just have to put a bit of effort into them. Um, let's see if I can put the silver samurai back together. The Silver Samurai was my first having a go at a Samurai, so he's um falling apart worse than any of the others. And when I say Silver Samurai, I just mean his colour scheme. Obviously he's not the Silver Samurai. Samurai bastard. So while I think in general that samurai are the um the weakest sort of implementation in the line, I think the standard um the the karate guys are probably my least favourite. Um they you know they're just a bit dull compared to the others. Uh, I don't know if they could have given like a some way to have an alternate sort of unfolded um top. You know that sometimes Ryu is seen like that. Street Fighter. Uh, perhaps have given us some bandanas or something to put round their heads. That would have been cool. But um There we go. So I think that's all the figures. So we've got um, the Smoky Ninja, the Deluxe White Ninja, this dude, can't remember any of their names, martial artist guy with topless martial artist, evil martial artist, 
basic red ninja, shinobi, blue ninja, brown martial artist, basic black ninja, temple guardian, silver samurai, the deluxe black ninja, solitaire the modern ninja, the undying ronin, this guy with the antlers, Fumetsu, remember his name, got this um, seijun I think, he's a uh, another brown samurai, <laughs> heroic martial artist, um, Yubei here, and then the red samurai guy. And then I've got a couple of duplicates of the black, I've got two more basic black ninjas and basic red ninjas and five wall mountable displays. So there we have it, that's that's the Articulated Icons, the Feudal series, series one of many we hope, um, like Shinobi, one of many. Um, so yeah, the mind boggles at what they could um, give us next. Who knows, who knows, who knows. Um, like people said, cowboys, space guys, vikings, knights, I don't know, anything army guys could be cool okay anyway thank you very much for joining me let me just catch up in the comments now wrap up um stephen watson says the wait for these guys was excruciating but i appreciated the almost constant updates and it's an investment to army build but overall worth it indeed totally um Stephen Watson says, do you have any plans for these guys ACBA customising? Not in particular, no. Nope, nothing in mind at the moment, but who knows. And double exclamation point says, I think the best value is the Shinobi or the White Deluxe. Yeah, the Deluxe Ninjas are definitely great. Um, deluxe White is my favourite. Um, yeah. And the black so the deluxe ninjas are pretty awesome but it's great that you get the option they're all they're all really good um really really good i'm really really happy with them really happy so well done to the guys at the first and gentle giant and everyone involved in the articulated icons kickstarter thanks to the people that also put their money in i'm quite flushed i'm in a <sighs> leaning forward the whole night anyway thank you very much for joining me it's been a long journey, over three hours. Whew. A great many figures, a great many boxes, blind me. So um thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Until next time. Pour on the power. Bye bye. <laughs>